This is Twit. Oh my goodness. We took a look at this back in uh, in June on Tech Thing. Um, you guys just did a write up on it on PC Per this week. Um, Jim Tannis did this one. The uh, Synology DS 1618 Plus, which is a NAS. Um, you know, it's from Synology that does a pretty good job on the operating systems for their NASs, which I think is a big deal. And this is a pretty powerful one. It's kind of the high end of the home user uh, or a uh, pretty prime small business NAS. Um, this is uh, also, as, as Jim points out, pretty much immediately. Um, it's pretty interesting that it has kind of an entry level uh, as he puts it, enterprise feature set. Big deal is a PCIe expansion slot, um, a 3.0 by 8 a four link slot or next four link slot. And uh, so you could possibly actually put in uh, NVMe flash adapters, 10 gigabit Ethernet ports. Um, but it's also a fairly powerful NAS, like 32 gigs of DDR4 memory. Um, NASs uh, are a nightmare to benchmark. Uh, I just want to say that right yeah. now um, because you literally, to, you know, you, by if a new NAS comes with new drives, um, you will often find them configured in things where they would put like two drives in a single like RAID 1 array, which kind of defeats the purpose of a six-bay NAS, if you're asking me. But um, it's been interesting, the, the whole idea, or if you have, you know, a year-old or two-year-old NAS with eight three-gigabyte drives inside of it versus a new NAS with six-gigabyte drives inside of it, and the aerial density is considerably higher, or six, you know, drive slots in it. I'm just, I just want to point that out because I... I have a lot of respect for anybody that can test NASs without going insane, myself included, um, because trying to figure out the performance on them um, gets really, really interesting. And I would also like to point out most people obsess about the performance, obsess about the wrong performance because they're looking at, you know, sort of drag, you know, uh, quarter mile drag race runs in terms of maximum sure. bandwidth, but not taking advantage of the, of the fact like, you know, if you look at the back of there, there's four Ethernet ports on that. And, you know, it turns out you can actually you know, set this up and configure it so that it is working to, you know, use each one of those Ethernet ports on, say, four different activities simultaneously um, without having to get into the expensive, uh, without having to get into the sort of expensive uh, 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 enterprise-grade routers on that one. Um, a lot of expansion on this. Uh, two 6-gigabit Ether eSATA ports, um, two USB 3.0 ports, uh, those uh, four RJ45 ports on there. Um, I was really impressed with this, uh, and one, because I'm a fan of Synology. I've been using their NAS boxes for a very long time. Um, two, quad-core Intel Atom uh, C3538 CPU, um, hardly a barn burner, uh, but a considerable yeah. step up from a lot of the processors I've seen uh, in NAS boxes. Um, he got some pretty fantastic performance out of this, speaking of speed tests. Um, was it like 945.7 megabytes per second uh, reads for sequential reads and like 520.8 megabytes per second on writes? Yep. Um, that's workable. <laughs> <laughs> it, certainly, it, cer it certainly is. Uh, yeah, Jim came away awfully impressed, awfully impressed with it. Uh, and... Mm. Not only that, I was kind of impressed when he was going into the detail of it. So I've never used a Synology NAS before. The software in it, and uh, uh, Alan was was raving about the the software integration on yeah. it as well. Um, and it actually supports uh, natively a Plex server client too. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I kind of looked at it going, oh, it's got this Atom processor in it. What's it going to do? And if you're doing, um, you know, native output i think he he could get five up to six different clients running if you're doing conversion you could get two 1080p conversions happening at the same time right. so you know not if you have a huge family you're sharing with a bunch of your friends but if you're using it for a, an in-home box and you know a couple of devices might be streaming off of it it's a completely usable workable right. highly effective system for it and that's you know there are other software implementations for it too so um they're they're still expensive, and I think that's what some that's something that a lot of people have trouble getting past is like this is a seven hundred ninety nine dollar device right. with no hard drives. Um, so that's that's for some people that see it as literally just a hard drive rack. That's a uh, that's harder pill to swallow. But it, in reality, a lot of these devices are these are doing a lot more than that. Um, whether you're talking Drobos or Synologies or sure. um, any anybody else that that is that is big in this space. Um, and I, I think it, I think it comes out well. I mean, but by the time you fill that with hard drives, you know, depending on what capacity, I think it supports seventy-two terabytes total. 
So right. what is well, that? You, six, you can basically 12? daisy chain multiple uh, boxes together. You're basically, you can add additional true. drive boxes to expand them. But yeah, I think it's 72 terabytes with six uh, gigabyte drives. Um, no, yeah. that's not right. Because um, that's not... <laughs> Sorry, I, you know, I knew this when I reviewed it, but I can't remember it off the top of my head now. I want to say it's, I think it's 72 um, if you add the additional external storage boxes on that. I should double check on Synology. No, 72 I, internal and 192 raw with expansion. There we go. Yeah. Um, the, uh, Which is you know, nuts, right? It's nuts, but also you got to remember we live in an area where we live in an area, we live in an era where you can oh. pick up 12 terabyte hard drives um they are not inexpensive yeah, you can. um you know you can no. you can spend a tremendous <laughs> right and, you know, it, <laughs> how, how many 10 terabyte drives did you buy for that 4k capture box oh too many. Yeah. too many yeah too many um yeah you know, <laughs> an adequate mortgage payment in pretty much all of northern <laughs> california um I yeah, mean, a no, 12 terabyte hard drive is going to be 450 bucks, right? So yeah. if you're going to get, if you're going to fill this with six of them, you're talking $2,700 worth of hard drives. Right. Plus, you know, and then when you, then you start looking at that, it's like, okay, I'm adding 750 for this uh, box to, to, to maintain them all. It's, it seems a little bit more reasonable. So, yeah. 